I, I, wish to uh, I wish to thank the sponsors for inviting me. I don't often get invited. <clears throat> this, this was an important debate. I had planned another closing message, but I feel compelled to say what I'm about to say. Now, I risk sounding like a conspiracy theorist, <clears throat> but it's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. The combining of national governments started with the European Union. That union started with trade agreements, then a common currency, the euro, and now a European parliament that is feverishly passing laws that uh, override the laws of, new, of the member nations. A constitution was drafted but rejected by a few uh, of those nations, but never mind. They implemented it anyway. Now it's North America's turn. Building on the North American Free Trade Agreement, the NAFTA section of the Commerce Department is busy drafting laws and regulations for a North American Union, a union of Canada, America, and Mexico. The President has attended secret meetings and signed at least two agreements under the Security and Prosperity Partnership Program. Information leaked out about the meetings and now it is all in the open. No treaty has been signed, so Congress has not become involved. However, money from our Treasury is now being spent for this effort. We will have a new currency, the Amero, and a new Constitution modeled on the Soviet Union's constitution. Our rights will not be inalienable, but they will be granted by government who can also take them away. One sign that this is our future is the plans for the superhighways from southern Mexico through America and into Canada. These plans are not secret any longer. Huge amounts of property will be taken in the name of free trade, peace, and security. You will have a national ID card with a radio frequency chip in it. That's already law in America and will be implemented by May 2000. This man voted for it. You will not be able to move about freely. This is terrorism of the most worst kind, brought on you by our own government. The strongest freest nation in the history of mankind will be averaged into world communism. Is that what you want? Are we the people still in control of this nation? We must begin to act like we are. Stan Jones. On that, Conrad Burns, three minutes. Sure glad you got such a rosy outlook on our future for our kids.